Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have an empties video for you guys. As I say every time, these are some of my favorite videos to film because nothing is more satisfying than using up products, especially when you have so many products coming in. It is so satisfying, especially products that are hard to use up and take a long time. When you do use it up and you see an entire basket of empties, kind of piling up, it makes you feel really good. I am moving in a month, so I was going to wait um, and just gather all my empties and throw them out like right before the move, but I have too many. I have too many gathering up and I just need to get rid of them. Hopefully I'll have enough for another video before I move, but yeah, it's a lot. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm just gonna real quickly get the candles out of the way because I did finish three. I have Flamingo Beach. I loved the packaging of this. This was, let's see. Uh, pink summer berries, juicy orange, dewy white petals with essential oils. This is such like a summery, like tropical floral and the orange makes it tropical and you've got those berries that make it sweet and girly. This was such a nice scent. I always imagined being at like a surf shop in Hannah Montana when I smelled this. Yeah, I really like this. Would I repurchase it right away? No, I get bored of scents, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a good scent. I really liked Flamingo Beach. Next, I have Kiwi Passion Fruit. Um, this one is Tropical Passion Fruit, Radiant Kiwi, Juicy Pineapple. Again, I really liked the scents. Fruity scents and candles are always my favorite, just because you can smell the warmth from the candle, which takes away from the freshness of the fruit. So I uh, usually liked... Uh, the plugins more but those just don't the scent doesn't work I, I I know a lot of people say that it you like leave the room and you get used to the smell so that's why you can't smell it but I'm telling you I could be out of my house for a week and come back and still wouldn't smell it some of them just stop working after a couple days I don't know what it is I don't know if they need to be made cold again and reheat to make the smell last I don't know but I thought none of them worked because like the last 10 that I've used have not worked but I have one right now i think it's called cereal and cartoons in the living room and i smell that every single day so maybe it's just some of them don't work i really don't know but yeah this candle was nice by the way next you guys i had blueberry maple pancakes i absolutely loved this scent this was wild blueberries griddle fresh pancakes warm maple syrup with natural essential oils you smell the maple syrup so strongly like that maple scent is so strong in this. It's ooey, gooey, delicious. This was absolutely amazing. I loved this candle. I'm also quickly gonna get the soaps out of the way. I had pineapple mango. This is the only non-foaming one uh, from Bath and Body Works just because I was seeing if these are a little less drying. The foaming ones are just a little too drying for my hands for some reason. And I forgot to pay attention. So I don't actually know if these are less drying, but I think they are. I also finished the BU 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 Sweet Sugar Sprinkles Gentle Foaming Wash. This was nice. I actually didn't really like this scent that much. I don't know why. There was something a little like off-putting about it, but it was cute. Valentine's Day themed, you know, you know. And I had Pineapple Mango, which again, a nice fruity scent. Can't go wrong with that. And then two dial soaps. Yes, I bought a bunch of these just so I can use the tops for my Bath and Body Works lotions and body washes. So yeah, I just use these up. I actually really like the dial soaps. Not gonna lie, there's a specific one that I like the most. It's none of these. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll have it in a future empties video because I'm almost done with one now. But yeah, the dial soaps are actually really nice. I actually kind of like them more than the Bath and Body Works ones because these aren't as drying. I don't know what it is, but yeah. I have a bunch of these that I'm using up so that I can steal the tops off them. Next, you guys, I finished this Dove Sensitive Skin um, Beauty Bar. So these are great, especially for sensitive areas. I kind of use this and then a body wash after. So yeah, I love this one, especially the Sensitive Skin one, so that I can, you know, use it everywhere without worrying that it's going to irritate me or that there's too much scent or anything like that. So yeah, love these. I used up this Axe Anarchy for her... Uh, deodorant body spray. Um, this is one of those things I use right when I get out of the shower because my pores are open and I'm hoping some of the scent will last, but it doesn't. So I bought a three pack of these. I finally used one up. I'm just gonna try to use them all up because yeah, it's just like an extra step that I take after the shower and I smell it in the air and I'm like, yes, like I'm adding a scent right out of the shower. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't last. It's an okay smell. I mean, it smells like Axe, like, you know, like a girly axe and uh, yeah, we'll not be repurchasing those, but it's still nice to have an extra step, right? Whatever I need to tell myself to use them up. 
I finished a little mini warm and cozy. I got this in a set, I think, last Christmas or something like that. And yeah, I like warm and cozy. It's the perfect nighttime scent. I would always use it at night. I like this scent. Is it my absolute favorite? No. Am I going to go run out and repurchase it right now? No, but I know a lot of people love this scent and I like it. It's just, you know, I prefer something fresher, fruitier, but yeah, it's nice if it ends up in my collection again somehow. I will be glad, but I'm not going to go out of my way to purchase it. You guys, I finished this pink pretty and pure body mist. I got this off of Mercari. This scent is so good. It almost smells like pink lemonade, but with lots of sugar and super fruity and super girly and I don't know. There's something about this that smells so good. I didn't want to use it up because, I mean, this is like a fossil. Like, do you remember these? These were like the OG pink packaging sprays. I wish they still had this packaging, but I figured, you know what? This does not last at all. It just doesn't last. It doesn't project. It, I'd have to spray like crazy to get any scent out of this. I kept it at work and I used it like 50 times a day. And yeah, I ended up using it up. Unfortunately, do I keep it just for the packaging? No, <laughs> I'm just going to throw it out. But yeah, like... So nostalgic. I finished this Berry Sea Lotion from Victoria's Secret Pink. It's a strawberry kind of coconut oil lotion. I liked it. The consistency was all right, but it's not my favorite strawberry scent. There's something about it that almost smells like feet. Not like dirty feet, but like clean feet, but they're still feet. I used up this Blueberry Extract and Vitamin E Intense Repair Hair Mask from the Wellness Collection. Initially, I thought I liked the Wellness Collection, then I realized I pretty much don't like any of the products in it. I ended up returning a lot of it. This hair mask was nice. The smell was okay. Did it do anything more than a regular conditioner? I don't really think so, but it was nice to use up, so yeah. I also used up this Moroccan oil. Um, this does wonders for your hair. It's a great hair product. Seriously, if you have like hair like mine or you're super frizzy, it just smooths it out. It smells good. It's it's a really nice product. Um, I've had this in my collection forever. I won't be repurchasing it just because I had it for so long and I don't really use it that much, but I know it's a good product and I'm glad to have used it up. But again, if it ends up in my collection, I'll be happy, but otherwise, yeah, I don't really care. I used up this aromatherapy um, sleep body lotion from their aromatherapy line. I liked this smell. This was very nice for the nighttime, I'm not gonna lie. This does smell good. I just, I'm not a fan of the aromatherapy line for the body, except for the like eucalyptus one, the stress relief one. I really do like that one. But in general, the aromatherapy is just not for me, you know? But yeah, I, I liked using this. I'll probably not be repurchasing these. I like to use these by the sink as kind of like hand lotions, but just, I don't think I'll be repurchasing them for the body. I used up two of these scent things. I think one was Raspberry Tangerine and one was Firecracker Pop. I couldn't smell them after the first day, so it doesn't really matter what the scent was. I'm not mad about it. I used up this Watermelon Scrub from Victoria's Secret Pink. I was so excited about this. It did smell good. The only thing is the consistency was just very goopy. It like ended up on the shower floor more than on my body. It was literally everywhere. It wasn't very exfoliating. It was nice, it was pink, it looked like watermelon, but it just wasn't the consistency that I like. So this isn't a consistency-wise product that I would repurchase, but it was fun to use, especially while it was warm in the summertime. I also finished this a Blueberry uh, Gentle Exfoliating Fruit Scrub. This was not very exfoliating, but it was moisturizing. Like it felt like you were putting on like a body serum. So it was a nice experience, but not something I would purchase, you know? I finished this Neutrogena hand cream. This is a good hand cream if you have really dry hands in the winter time. Highly recommend it. The consistency is a little weird, but yeah, I like this hand cream, used it up. Won't be repurchasing anytime soon because I have other things to go through, but yeah, this was a nice hand cream. I also have this Function of Beauty shampoo. Um, I'm still working on the conditioner. This was average, I guess. Like. Everyone, like some of the influencers worked with um, this brand and they, you know, you get to pick your hair type and everything, but I didn't really notice any positive changes in my hair, so not something I would try again. It is pretty expensive, but yeah, I used up the shampoo. I had the pear scented one. It did smell like pears, so that was pretty cool that you can kind of pick your own scent and so on and so forth, but you know, 
yeah. Next up, I used up this honey cleanser from Earth to Skin. I got this in a subscription box. I actually really liked this. It did have kind of like a honey-like consistency and smell. It was really nice. Not enough to purchase in a full size, but I enjoyed using it. And then I also finished a Dove deodorant. Dove deodorants are my favorite, especially in the spray form, but I had this for a long time and I finally used it up. Something about using up a stick deodorant just feels really good. I used up three makeup products. I used up the L'Oreal Infallible um, foundation, which is a really nice foundation. I used up the Born This Way Too Faced um, under eye concealer, also a really nice product. And I used up the Too Faced Hangover kind of face spray thing. And yeah, they're all good products. Use them up. I'm trying to get through a lot of my makeup collection because I have a lot of products. So it feels really good to use up a makeup product, not gonna lie, because those take forever. I finished up this toner, um, Byron, New York. I'm not sure how to say the brand, but it's the Bitter Green Essence Toner. This was a nice hydrating toner. I didn't really notice much of a difference and it took forever to use up. It was a big bottle, but yeah, glad to use, have used it up. And this is the Gold Fodden MD Brightening Elixir. Um, another serum, this one was actually really nice. I really did see a difference in my skin. It did brighten it. I don't know if I would repurchase it because I know this stuff is really expensive and again, I got this in a subscription box, but yeah, this was a really nice serum, so do recommend it if you have the money to splurge on a serum. And then I finished some floss picks. I don't know, but I never like had it in me to floss my teeth when I just used regular floss. Like I had to have these. As a kid, we had the like dinosaur ones where it had like the dinosaur shape and then the floss. Like I love the picks. It makes me use them every day, so yeah. Definitely, if you struggle with making yourself floss your teeth, try the picks. They work great. And of course, the uh, TheraBreath Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. I love this stuff. Such a good mouthwash. I use a really minty one kind of to fight cavities at night. And then I use this whenever I want my breath to smell good because it really does get rid of bad breath germs. This is the first mouthwash that made me not wake up with morning breath. It's crazy. Some mouthwashes make me wake up feeling like I have worse breath which is fine, whatever, as long as they help with cavities or do whatever they claim to do, but this is one that actually doesn't make me feel all gross in the morning, so yeah, highly recommend this mouth mouthwash. All right, you guys, those are all my empties. I can't wait to get rid of them so I can make room for new empties. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, what you use up the most, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.